Okay, now what movie do I need to review next? The Super Mario Bros. Movie. <sighs> well, it's finally here. I went to my movie theater. I got popcorn and a drink. And gummy worms, because why not? I went into the theater with my friends. And we sat down to watch Chris Pratt Mario. I've been dreading this day for a while. Until more trailers came out and I got more interested. So as many people remember, I did a live stream reaction to when Nintendo revealed the first trailer. And I was very like, oh, yeah, this is going to be a dumpster fire. It's so obvious. And obviously, I was not too interested in seeing it. Then the traders kept coming and I was like, hmm, I could give this a shot. So I gave it a shot. And it was pretty good, actually. I'm surprised to say this, but it surprised me. Chris Pratt Mario, you have actually surprised me with your acting. You did a pretty decent Mario voice, congrats. So what is the Mario movie's plot, essentially? Well, Bowser, voiced by the best guy of all time, Jack Black. Oh yeah, he's an Ice Age. He said, come the baby. Or don't come get all! <laughs> Never mind. He's going to take the star and take over the Mushroom Kingdom! For a reason that was pretty obvious, if people know the Mario games. So that we go to Brooklyn, where Luigi and Mario live. And they're like, hey, we're going to do some plumbing! And then all of a sudden they get sucked into a pipe and they get separated. And Mario has to go and save the Mushroom Kingdom. <sighs> you know, usual Mario stuff. I know I sound bored saying this, but... That's literally the plot. Everything else after that is just like, yep, nothing. No character arcs, no interesting plot twists, nothing. Just nothing. Just a simple story. Not bad, because we have seen simple stories be good before, like Peek and Boots The Last Wish. The story was kind of basic, not gonna lie. I was very, very, very not surprised. I was like, oh look. It's Illumination. They're being safe for the story. Yay! Now, I'm gonna be honest, I'm actually a, quite a fan of Illumination. My personal favorite movies from them are The Two Sings, which in my opinion, were pretty good. Despicable Me 1 and 3, 2 made me cringe. And of course, The Grinch. Now I know people are gonna go and say, Wait, you like The Grinch? And I will confess, I did. Oh yeah, I also liked Minions Rise of Gru. That was pretty decent. So anyways, let's get back to Mario again. So how was the humor? The, oh my God, the humor is comedy gold, man. Oh my God. I think Bowser really took the place for like, he is the best comedian in this movie. Me and my friends burst out laughing watching this scene when he was playing the piano. You know, the musical encore that Nintendo told us. Well, not really Nintendo, but you know, the reporters and yeah. So, what else was good about this movie? Oh yeah, the visuals. Oh, the visuals. They're fantastic. I love the visuals so much, man. It looks beautiful. It, this is Illumination's best work. And in my opinion, it's getting to blue sky levels. And it's making me feel like blue sky is still alive. And whenever I go see an Illumination movie, I'll just pretend in my head like, this is from Blue Sky Studios. Hey, wait, we're scrapped. Oh wait, this is Illumination, shit. Cringe. But anyways, yeah, so all the character voices were pretty good, except Mario Chris Pratt, which I thought he did pretty decent, actually. Not too bad, but it was okay. You know, I, I, I you know what I mean. He was okay. <laughs> but Seth Rogen Donkey, oh my god, he is so epic. He is literally Yama Wickersham. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So... Yeah, and then there's the other characters, Luigi. He was barely in it, oh boy. And so was Toad. He was also barely in it. How fun. So what characters were mainly there? Well, Mario and Peach. Mario was, you know, Mario. And Peach was also Peach. Literally the same characters in the games. Now I know this sounds really bad for my explanation, but they're good characters. 
I also liked how Peach was a very good character and tried to be the strong woman. You know that cliche? A fun cliche it is. And I like it. You know, Amy, anytime someone calls attention to the breaking of gender roles, it ultimately undermines the concept of gender equality by implying that this is an exception and not the status quo. Huh? So, yeah, that's basically the Super Mario Bros. movie. But that's not the end of the review. Is it better than the Angry Birds <laughs> No! The Angry Birds movie is way better. Get, get wrecked, you stupid-ass movie. You trying to be better than the, the best movie of all time? Ha! Not in a million years. Go to hell, Mario. You don't deserve the crown. Angry Birds, you keep it on your head. So, I basically give the movie a 7 out of 10. Yeah, <laughs> you're probably expecting me. Are you gonna go full in death on this review? No, I'm not going to, because it's a Mario movie. What'd you expect? This is it now. Okay, make sure you guys comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Stay good, guys. Hold on a minute. What's happening over here? Oh yeah, by the way, this is gonna be spoiler territory, so stay away. <laughs> yeah!